Hey everybody, it's Alex. I'm back with a project share. I have some cards that I've made and my little traveler's type notebook that I've been working on. Oh, my camera. I do that a lot. About to knock it over. My little traveler's type notebook that I'm working on. Um, so first I'll show the cards. This is a happy birthday card I made. That's a lawn fawn. It's a little mini stamp set that has ice cream in it. And it's just this like oblong shape and I colored that with Prismacolor pencils and I use stickles I don't have the dot the dies or anything so I just cut them out by hand so I made that one I've made a few more but I've sent them like um, I sent I had a get well type card and I mailed that to my mom and I mailed her a birthday card that I made which was really cool it had um, the paper smooches french fries stamp all over it that one was awesome um, yeah, so I've given a few of them out. I did this one for, or no, not for, from, it's CC Designs, the mermaid. I love the mermaid stamps. Well, mermaids, period, but, um, yeah. So I colored her up with Prismacolored pencils, and I just made my own watercolor background. And the hearts are watercolored as well, and I just cut them out. Um, and then I think this the, it's a paper smooches sentiment and that sentiment is lawn fawn just two different stamp sets and then I made this one and this is lawn fawn stamp set that came out around last fall Christmas time and this you made my day that is Avriel my friend Brianna got that for me for Mother's Day she got me a Avriel stamp set so, and I just colored that in. I stamped it over and over and colored it in with my, um, oh, wait, those donuts, I think that is, it's so long ago I made these, um, the donuts, I want to say, are Simon Says Stamp, and then the milk, and the heart is Lawn Fawn, if, yeah, I believe, and the cookies are Lawn Fawn, but I think the donuts are Simon Says Stamp. All right, and then I made this one. Um, I don't have like wave stamps or anything like that, so I just drew it by hand, and I did this all with colored pencil, and I did the sun by hand, and and yeah, so <laughs> I just cut all the little the little um, sea creatures out there, and then I don't have an ombre uh, stamp or ink pad, so I just kind of did it myself with my own ink pads and I use stickles and white gel pen with that one and then I made this one this is using lawn fawn and I just got some of my little little stamp sets that have these little pieces here and I stamped them randomly over and over to create a little like confetti type background and that is lawn fawn um, picture but I want to say these are paper smooches from like a like a I forget what set it's from I'm so bad at this why well, I, I don't show a lot of my stuff <laughs> I can't remember the names I mean it'd be one thing if I made it and then did a video right away so it's fresh or I had the stuff still setting on my desk but it just doesn't happen that way um, okay so then I did this one I used my um, Lawn Fawn. It's the S'more stamp set. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying to get it, but I, I just can't. Um, so I just I inked the sky, but I colored the grass with colored pencil, and the birds and you know all the elements are colored pencil. This is this their own stamp. It comes with that set. So. And then the back is just like paper. I didn't do anything there. And then these, okay, it's another mix. This is, no. No, it's all, yes, it's all lawn fun. I'm looking at it like, no. Yes, it's all lawn fun. <laughs> Sorry, I made this one too. Um, I just put all these guys together like they were having one big old party. I love this card. It's a balloon. I forget what stamp set that comes from. That might be... Oh no, I think that's a stamp I got at the flea market. I asked the lady to do a balloon stamp for me. 
and that's uh, paper switches. I did that one, and then hold on one second. I'm waiting to see if my daughter's school calls me back. Sorry. All right, so I did this one, and this one is Lawn Fawn as well. And this was their stamp set that came with the the woodland type creatures. I I'm just awful at this, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then this is paper smooches. I can tell by the the font. But I just colored these all. Do you see the difference? Let me show you. Like this one, I cut the pieces. And then I cut them out and I put them on pop dots. It's like dimensional. But this one, I color them and stamp them on the square. And I did the little confetti background again. And then I cut them little party hats. And I put little party hats on their heads. <laughs> and then I made this one with Lawn Fawn. This, I would, if I was to do it over again, I would maybe pick two different people because they're, or animals, because their colors are a bit similar and they just kind of blend into each other. But this is Lawn Fawn as well, and I tried to make it like look dimensional, but it didn't really work out that way. Um, that's a Lawn Fawn sentiment. I just tried to make it look like, you know, confetti just blew up all over my card, but um, yeah. Colored pencil, lots of random stamping to get the confetti look. I cut the shape out with my spell binders, hand cut those, of course, because I just don't have the dies to them. So, those are the cards that I've made, guys. Those are the ones that I have on hand, the other ones I've given. Then, um, the Traveler's Type Notebook that I've been working on. Um, this is it here. This is the one that I showed that was from Target. And let me tell you, I went to Target yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, because I wanted to pick up this punch. And I happened to go into the office supply aisle, which, well, I always do. Who am I kidding? And all of these, that's always been there. I've always seen them there. They're all gone. <laughs> so I thought that was awesome. So, yeah, um, these are the pages I showed before. Just kind of um, documenting just stuff like life in general. Just, I mean, I know Traveler's Notebook is geared toward pe towards people that travel and, like, go to fun places and do things. It's a way to document it and stuff. But this was a way for me to document what we were doing, not feel so intimidated by um, 12 by 12 layouts, as crazy as that sounds, or 6 by 6 layouts, as crazy as that sounds. Um, <clears throat> I just really like it. I like that it's, like, in a book, and it's just simple stuff. Like, that's the day, we, morning before we went to the flea market, and this is when we had to go feed my mother-in-law's cats. We went to, me and the kids had Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. Just silly stuff. Like, he's got chocolate all over his face. He just was all loving it. And then that's her eating. Oh, she wouldn't even, this girl loves sweets. <laughs> um, she wasn't even talking. She wasn't trying to. She was, it was serious business eating that donut. But, um, like, this is the first day. Gabriel turned five, and I started doing YouTube videos he couldn't even crawl yet. He was actually, I remember doing a video and he had started, you know when the babies start to roll before and they kind of roll around everywhere? I remember doing a video and I was like, whoa, wait a bit, wait a second guys, let me go get him. He's rolling down the hallway. He was just, <laughs> he was so little and now he's five. And um, this was the first day that he got to be out of like a regular car seat and get into like a big boy booster seat. So I wanted to document that. And then this was our trip to my local scrapbook store, Whimsadoodle. I thought I would document it. I, I used the little stamp that I, the pineapple stamp that I bought from there. And then behind here is like the receipt that she gives us that shows us our rewards points. And then there's the kids in the storefront. And then that's just stuff that I bought there. And then here's my son. I document. He, this kid does not want to eat meat. He absolutely hates dinner time unless you're giving him like a bowl of cereal and I am right along there with him I absolutely hate dinner I don't want no I just because he just gives me so much trouble I just hate it and this here this was a pretty bad day actually I had a really bad day and instead of documenting the awful day I documented the fact that I was 
listening to some music because I love music and that my husband um, just by chance that day brought me home a 7-Eleven iced coffee which I absolutely love and totally made my night better. <laughs> And then this was us at the pool. I just took a picture of the sky and I just wrote, you know, I just write about them a little bit, you know, what was going on in the picture. I didn't write anything on there. Um, this I wrote underneath here and here I just, see it, it has it in stickers and then I continued with my handwriting and then I wrote some there, but um, yeah, just write a little bit and then I was working on this one. My daughter had to go to the dentist and I wanted to get a picture of her in the dentist chair but they wouldn't let me go back there with her. So what I think I'm going to do is save her dental care thing here and I'm going to take a picture. They gave me this little box that has her little teeth in it. Um, I think I'm going to take a picture of that box and I'm going to put it here. So, But I like wrote about it and documented it and stuff and then I have, oh, that's my Skype session with my friend, Brie. Brianna, she's so cute. I love talking with her. She's like what kept me sane the whole summer. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, it was hard because there wasn't like, okay, say for example, like um, here. I, oh wait, that, I guess the pages got stuck together. Here was our day at the park. Me and the kids went to the park. But the, oh, that's a good example. See, I tried to pull, you know, like in regular scrapbooking, I guess. You would kind of pull colors from the photos and use that, you know, in, in your um, your decorating, I, I suppose. So it was kind of hard here because there was nothing in the photo. So what I did was um, I just picked things that reminded me of her. Like she loves the whole Heidi Swap, the gold with the black and white and and I just, yeah, I just picked things that reminded me of her. So, um, I have stuff. This, oh, this I was going to save too. This has to do with the dentist. They gave her a free, um, or not a free, a gift certificate thing for a free milkshake. Um, because she did a good job. So, I wanted to save that there. And then, this is what I was wanting to work on. I have all these little things from the first day of school. Um, they're so excited. So, and I have like the tag to his shirt, the tag to her shoes. This is the one from his shoes. And then like just things like little ephemera things that I got from, from their school. So that is what I've been working on. And me and Brianna are scheduled to have another Skype date. And we'll probably be working on our, our um, books and whatnot. And then also, I wanted to share with you guys, my friend Amy, she's all the way in the UK. Um, she makes videos as well, but she hasn't been on in a while. Um, she made me this beautiful card and she sent it to me. Aww. I just love, I love this. I don't know what you cut that out of. Oh, but I love it. Oh, it's just so cute. Thank you so much, Amy, for thinking about me. Look at her little stamp. I love it. Sitting on my desk. So, okay, so that's it for this video, guys. And I'm going to come right back with, I found a few things at Dollar Tree when I went today. I had to go get my oil changed. And then Gabriel requested, he said, Mommy, I don't like the toothpaste that you got me. And I said... Really? Wow. I mean, like, it's not hard to believe that he didn't like the flavor of his toothpaste because this kid doesn't like anything. <laughs> so he asked me if I could go find the one that he had before because it was okay. And I knew I found it at Dollar Tree. It was like Colgate Kids. It was like a blue sparkly one. And for the love of everything toothpaste, I could not find that toothpaste. <laughs> um, so I found a few other things while I was there. But Anywho, so I'll get off of here and I will do another video of the few things that I found at Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.